happening channel we are down in van buren uh we are at one of our dirt operation sites uh one of these water burgers we're bringing out of the ground almost i mean they're actually getting concrete footers built in the pad right now so they're actually bringing the building out uh, we've got a couple little low-lying areas we've got to uh, hit here, but today's a really cool day, guys. We are getting to check out our Topcon uh, GPS gear, uh, basically all our handheld Basin Rover units. And then this machine, like I've said before, is an eye machine. It actually has a Rover in it. So um, essentially, we'll get into all that. This is a very meat and potato uh, video of the in-depths of what GPS and machine control can do for you and your operations. I've got me and about five, six other guys. We're gonna go through and basically set the gear up and go from there. So come along, learn with us. No. Well, no, no. Yep. Test. You, you always just select whatever the active project oh, okay. is. It's the Understood. Easy. Yep. Understood. So what do we do? So so test is the active project. You select it. Understood. Yep. Understood. And once you get that, it gives you every project file. That, and eventually, you know, you'll have a bunch of project files in here. Right. So from here, so what y'all got? Uh, copy. So we're gonna do, we're gonna copy the project file. Understood. Yep. Understood from internal memory. Not from no, the D. from your D, D yep. drive to your internal memory. Oh, that's correct. Say the same and then if they're. No, this is super cool. Green okay, no, super, super cool. The, uh, we're learning a lot. We got Dakota and Zeus with us today from one crew on the utility side. We're getting the field guys intertwined exactly how to set up a process and a program into this Basin Rover setup so we can basically get this stuff out in the field. It's really cool, interesting right, yeah, yeah, stuff. Right. Lithium and set it down in a little mat. Well, what data collector do we want to use? Who wants to use it? We can only really run one. Uh, these two guys probably. Yeah, I'll do it. More, yep. They need that. They need it in their hands more than anybody could for sure. All right. So that's what we're doing. What we're doing now? We're going to set the base up. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the base up. So right now we got the project file in here. We're going to set, so we're going to go to set up. We're going to set up our GPS base station. We're going to do so that is a unknown point. We're acting like we're starting from scratch. So just unknown point. So see where it says unknown point. We want to add point to the project. And we want to name it base. Or you can name it whatever you want to. We're just yeah. Unknown base is good. good. Let's go. All right, so it's an unknown point. And what add point to project does, it puts it in our control file. That way, if we have to reset it back up, it'll actually be in the known control point file. Oh, uh, as base? Yes, as Understood. base. Yep. Understood. So our connection is through Bluetooth. That's correct. So we're good to hit next. Unknown point will always run zero. Okay. Everybody hear that? Yes, That sir. way, if you call me, I knew it was zero. So I need to change that yep, to zero. Yep, change that to zero. Yep. Any base high unknown, we're doing zero. Now, if it's over a known control point, you'll have to give it its true height. You know, if right. it's a rover, you'll have to give it true height. Because it's, right. it's over a known control point. Right. Just here, it don't matter. So what this is doing now, mm. It's connecting to the Bluetooth to the radio board in there. Okay. Blue, the Bluetooth light will go solid. See, it's solid. That means we actually got connection to it right now. Okay. Failed to Same as like it. Failed, Failed to connect. Connect. All right, hit OK. Super cool day, guys. This has been kind of really cool. Here, let me stop so you guys aren't getting camera shake because we don't have the gimbal on today, but the gimbal, get ready for the B-roll. Gimbal shots are coming. Oh, my God. Anyways, this has been uh, time check here for you guys. It's 11.15 in the morning. Um, on August the 16th and let me tell you something in the River Valley I'm not absolutely soaking wet already so um, the weather has been beautiful God's graced us with a uh, two really really beautiful days of weather and we're we've been going over this GPS training learning so much I'm glad we've got one we've got one utility crew here uh, Dalton project manager and uh, Sam and Bill, the dirt crew here from Van Buren, and we're getting to learn a couple of things on the dozer. So it's been a super great day. We've actually got another group of guys coming down next, the 24th, so next week sometime, to learn the exact same thing. And to you guys that I understand at the ownership level where you're like, man, this is a lot of wasted time, and I, am I really getting the, the money for my value and my dollar? Well, you are, it just takes time. You get, you get with your salesmen, get with your reps, let them train your guys to be the best that they can possibly be and be as efficient as they can with the equipment you're buying take the time get them trained there's things i'm i'm learning today it's been so it's been so cool so i don't necessarily know everything about the gps world and we're getting to watch old bill over here too old bill just we don't get to see much of the dirt crew since they've been we're about an hour and 15 hour and 30 minutes south of the shop right now so we're a little ways away but old Bill, he's, he's got a couple of undercuts 
that he's having to make that failed proof roll here. We've got Sam over here on the dozer, kind of figuring out a couple of things. He's getting some dozer training hours in while we cut this out. So we're working at it. Love that you guys, uh, hey, hey, right through the middle of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button if this is something content that you enjoy to watch. Thank you. Full time. Here we go, so we're green. If you go green, the bottom left. You're ready to go to work. You're ready to go to work. Oh my lord, let's awesome. go. Pull out, drop down. And then from there, oh, you, can, shot, you can work. Yeah. Look at him, he's already leveled. Awesome. Can't make it and that's it. But that's always, what it's always right here. You can, you can control them. It just makes it easier. It just takes time. Now, after we shoot this first point, it'll show us across there where we're at. Right now, we have no idea where we're at. So what point is this? Two, I think. That's a 775. Well, what about on Earth? We only got one through four. I mean, we can look at the project. Where are we on the project right here? We're in northwest, northeast corner. We're up here, number one. Oh. So right in here, you think it'd be number one? Yeah, we're right here. Right. I'm saying, okay. I was burying horses. So, well, you, you, you said right here, you don't think it's number one? We only got one through four. Yeah, that's, up that's here. It. Okay. So you got, yeah, you okay. Got okay. Yeah. The property lines come okay. along. Okay. I got you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, from yeah, here, buddy. I'll let whoever wants to do it. So, we'll go to data, <clears throat> control. So, we're going to our control points. Yep. All right. This is number one. So, highlight number one. All right. So, that there's our true northeast elevation that we either manually oh, typed in or had a text file, a text file in. Level's so good, right? We need yep. to make sure it's perfect for yep. the control yeah, point. Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah, this is the most important stage. You do it one time, so always make sure you're nice and level. All right, so that's our northeast elevation. So you want to go to GPS. From here, you want to hit measure. And so it's collecting. It's collecting point GPS right data now. now. Yep. Exactly where it is. This is what sucks. Is once you find first, and you're good. Because now when you start yeah, walking towards the second, it'll, it'll get show you where you are. It'll get yeah. close. That's, right. that's correct. So at Junction, when I was walking around looking for nails and all that asphalt, <laughs> you don't know where any of them are at. It's oh, a big yeah, problem. The first dude, one, was, yeah. He was pissed. Yeah. A little frustrated. Yeah. So 68 foot west, and another negative, and 380 foot south to get to that point. That's it should cool. be up seven foot. That's well, cool. Just pick this up. Yep, yep, right. ages, what, yep. Pick it up. Guys, I know we haven't really talked about Whataburgers much. We've actually uh, picked up a client that is building a few uh, through our local area. Actually, it's not really local. It's about an hour. This side is about an hour and a half from us. And uh, we've got another side about another 45 minutes further from our shop. So it's been kind of cool figuring this out. But you can see Bill behind me. We've got a couple of spots that failed proof roll this morning. Uh, but you can see building pad up there essentially there on just south of that red dually and they've got concrete footers going in um, and basically all of this is what we call scarified so basically sam takes the the rippers on that dozer takes an inch or two goes down it gives somewhere for that moisture to channel and hopefully effectively dry out blade it back get it back within its hundredth roll it call it a day bill's got this little spot Looks like we've got a little spot right there that looks to be holding. Bill's the freaking man, dude. Bill's the man. I don't know what to tell you about Bill. He, uh, he's the man. We got Sam over here working with Jake from Power Equipment on a couple of things on the GPS. It's been such an overall good day. I don't get to have days like this much where I get to come out and see really where all the money's going <laughs> is, you know, is investing in these guys and, and their trainings. Man, that dozer are six. God bless you. Oh. There's Sam's little dozer guy sitting in the parking lot. That's what we've been working on all day, just so he can be able to see his slope percentage, where he's at on the job, all that crap. It's kind of cool. It's so cool, man. Now it actually looks good. <laughs> see the basin rover here with the guys right here? Basically, we're running off the base pole and doing all this really fancy GPS uh, point taking, stakeout, surveying, elevations all in one, right? So. Long story short, right now, Sam is getting ready, getting elevations worked in on the same screen, setting his auto blade, and as you see, that blade moves 
for him. He's not in there rotating that stuff with his hand. And we'll get some GoPro with that, guys, for you. But right now, that blade is completely automatic. And he's just making minor adjustments. And as you can see behind him, it doesn't leave no wind row, doesn't leave, leave nothing. It's all about efficiency. This been Sorry. efficient. Yes. Good. Yes. 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 Very much so. Very much so. And to see him a little bit de-stressed about it, where because we didn't have no confidence right. in nothing. Yeah. And the software is really simple. I'm, yeah. I, I mean, very simple. Really, yeah. I mean, layers, you know. 